and Brazilian cacao chocolate trees. I mean, that's that's she has everything. This is a winner winner chicken dinner. What's going on, guys? It's the Black Bonsai Guy, and I'm back again. It's been a while since I shot a series of videos. I actually hurt my back. I was working out on the, um, what they call a, a, a rebounder. And basically what it is is a mini trampoline. And I was working out on it and the lady was doing the exercise. I really didn't know how to do the exercise, but I was trying to do it. And basically what it was, it was like a twist of the hips and you put your hands in the air as you jump up and down. And man, I went this way and I threw my back out. Right. It was, it was some pain. So, um, this is early in the morning. I went to take a shower after and I could barely move, but I still had to take a shower and I went to wash my feet and I picked my leg up very slowly and boom, it went out again. So I would have two, two back to back, back outs within an, within an hour of each other. And, uh, man, I was in some pain. I was in some pain, you hear me? So, um, it, that happened like two weeks ago. Now, I'm probably back to like 95%. I'm still taking it easy. It'll be another two weeks or so before I get back on the rebounder. It's not the rebounder fault. It's, it was my fault. I just didn't know how to do the exercise. And uh, when you're jumping up and down on the trampoline of, of that nature, you really want to make sure your core is always locked. And I just didn't have my core locked and got all messed up, man. So uh, I had actually haven't shot a series of videos in, in two weeks. Uh, and I've just been kind of relaxing. I ain't been working out. I've been, I've been eating pretty good. Uh, although this weekend I had two uh, burgers, but I'm vegan. So they were uh, vegan burgers. If you're in Tucson, go ch try out this El Toronto. Uh, they have a double, double burger. It was a double double burger, fries, and two beers. They give you two beers to go uh, in a can for twenty dollars. Where can you get that at in two thousand and twenty one for twenty dollars? It's twenty dollars for two beers these days. You get two beers, order of fries, and a double double burger. And they had all the cheese, all the vegan cheese on the burger you you can handle. I'm not really a big cheese guy. Um, so I told him when I went back the second day, you know, hold back some of that cheese. But anyway, y'all not here to hear about that. Y'all here to hear about plants. It's hunting and shopping for discounted plants. I believe this is episode 21. Um, I could check right quick. I could pull it up on my computer just to make sure, but I'm more than sure this is episode 21. Uh, so without further ado... Let's get straight to it. And I have to admit, I am glad to be back and my back is not hurting me no more. So let's get straight to it. I'm out. All right, guys, I'm in Facebook. Excuse me, I'm in Offer Up. Offer Up. And someone is giving away some cactuses. All you got to do is dig them up. Um, these appear to be prickly pear. Um... You want to check these out and make sure they don't have any spider mites on them. I know sometimes if you see, I'll try to zoom in. Uh, if you're looking like dead center in the screen, uh, you see that white substance. Sometimes that's generally spider mites, uh, but it could be something else. Uh, you just want to make sure uh, if it is spider mites, you could treat it with just some soapy water. Uh, spray them down and do that like every... I would do it like every five days, every five to seven days, and that'll kill everything. Uh, but these are absolutely free. All you have to do is dig them up. Let's click on this name, on her name, and see if she has anything else for free. And there you have it. Uh, has some more cactuses that they're giving away some cholas. Um, these appear to be in great condition. Uh, that salt is probably too wet to keep cactuses in long term. 
so eventually these probably would decline. Uh, just just looking at all of the needles that are on the ground, uh, I'm sure it gets too much water, but they appear to be in perfectly good health right now. Uh, just be careful while removing. And let's see. Also giving away some free rocks. Uh, I forgot. I think they call those river rocks. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Always good to have some extra rocks hanging around, especially if you do container growing. You can put rocks in the container uh, to hold it down to stop it from blowing over. Uh, so this is a whole bunch of free deals for you. You can't beat that. All right. We have someone that has a Mexican lime tree uh, selling it for one hundred and twenty five dollars. Um, I personally um, let's see. Four to five feet tall and perfect health, large pot included. Perfect for your patio garden, only selling because we can't take it with us on our move. Get us get it before it's gone. I think that 125 is a little high for uh, this size of tree. I think this tree has only been in this pot maybe two years tops. Uh, before that, it was still in the, uh, the regular nursery pot. And to be honest with you, it doesn't have a lot of uh, leaves on it. Uh, for something that has been in a pot that size, although we did have a very, very dry summer last year, and they typically uh, put on a lot of growth during monsoon season. Uh, me personally, I wouldn't pay one twenty five for it. Uh, but if you are in desperate need for a Mexican lime tree, uh, this may be what you uh, want to go with. Let's click on the name and see if they have anything else. Uh, nothing else garden related. Now it's just a little cart. But yeah, not a, I guess I won't say it's not a bad deal because it is a bad deal, but I definitely would try to negotiate a little bit off of that. And uh, if you're in desperate need, you can always um, search uh, Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. They may have a better deal. All right, here's something uh, that's not, it's kind of garden related. Someone is selling all of these cinder blocks. For uh, thirty five dollars, and uh, for those who want to like create like a garden bed, you can uh, create garden beds using these types of cinder blocks. So it's thirty thirty eight blocks. Some of them are glued slash painted, but none are broke or broken. Uh, thirty five for all firm on a price. Irvington and Crunchy Club. You can uh, either frame out a conventional rectangle using these or you can uh, put those on the ground with the openings facing the sky and you can plant directly into the opening so this is uh 38 bricks um so it says 76 uh because you have two openings on every brick you could uh plant two different things in there so on one side you could have you know strawberries and on the other side of the block, you can have uh, maybe a blueberry uh, or raspberry growing, or maybe two strawberries in one. And uh, you can come up with all types of neat ideas uh, dealing with those bricks. Not a bad deal at all. Let's just click on the name, see if they have anything else garden related. Mm, doesn't appear, although they do have a wagon. That could be used in the garden if needed. But I think that's for the nice nah, for a kid. Take that back. But yeah, not a bad deal. Also, it looks like they have a uh, sturdy platform uses beds. You could take um you could take those cinder blocks and uh you know build up a three or four foot cinder block and you can sit your plants in a container. Uh, using this little lat right here, kind of make a, a, a table, if you will. Uh, it's all kind of creative things you can do with that. You guys were still in offer up and uh, someone has matching plant stands for sale. Uh, looks like this is about four of them at least. Uh, actually, it looks like this is two separate ones. Um, this will be good for putting something like strawberries in, 
because it'll allow the strawberries to kind of uh, hang over and go as they want to, but also keep it kind of neat. Um, and strawberries, the roots on strawberries don't grow very deep. So you could have a wall full of strawberries. And as the runners come out, you could plant them into different containers and propagate them pretty easily. Uh, they want $25 for two matching plant stands originally from Ikea. Plants not included. Uh, I don't believe they make these anymore. It's black metal, rustic plastic tubing. Uh, let's see. Holds up to 13, 6 inch pots. It's really cool for a living wall of green room divider. Yeah, I, I could definitely see that uh, being put to good use. Let's just click on their name and see if they have anything else. And they don't. Um, so, yeah, not a bad deal at all. All right, guys, still an offer up. And real quick, someone is selling some red paver bricks uh, for 50 cents. I think these are a very common brick that's used across uh, many different cities and states. Uh, always good to have a couple extra bricks around, uh, especially if you're planting things in containers or sitting things on benches. Uh, where you put them, you put them underneath your, uh, your pots just to kind of help the uh, water drain out of them a little bit. Or if you have any uh, things that could potentially start to rot, you could, uh, from sitting on the ground, of course, you could put a brick underneath them to stop them from rotting uh, and getting termites in them. Uh, not a bad deal. All right, still in offer up. We have someone here that uh, is selling an agave plant. Uh, it looks like this. See that little stem that's coming out? That is how the plant will continue to get its seeds or its uh, genetics into the future. It'll drop some seeds and uh, you can root it from the seeds or you can just uh, root the aloe, break it off and root it in some water or just stick it in the soil and it'll root that way. Uh, let's see. They want $15 for it. Uh Certain stuff for multiple starts. Uh, well rooted and established, fifteen each, or oh, it's actually two different ones, or oh, they'll do two for twenty five. See if they have anything else garden related. They do. Uh, looks like a typical. Uh, I forget what they call these plants. I call them the grandma plants. Everybody grandmother had these. Uh, let's see, they want $25 for that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that deal. Let's see, you have a succulent in a large pot here. Uh, I actually have this in my backyard. $30, ah, you can, you can do better than that. Go down to Echo Grow. If you're in Tucson, Arizona, they have all type of succulents and they sell them for $3 each. Much better deal. I have a palm tree here, um, 50 bucks, that's not bad. I don't know how tall this is. Um, I can't see, that's not bad, not bad. You know, I've seen palm trees get expensive, but you wanna get down towards the uh, center of this plant and work your way up, you know, right and work your way up because you're looking to make sure you don't have any mealy bugs or scale or um you know anything that's going to eat the plant and then they have some bigger potted aloe for forty dollars personally i will go with this one 16 inches tall by 20 inches wide not bad all right guys i switched over to facebook marketplace now and someone is selling some variegated J plant cuttings. Um, these will make good bonsai specimens. Uh, this jade is actually flowering. Typically jades only flower in climates that are dry. Um, let's see, a one cutting, seven to 10 inches, easy to grow, ships from California. $3.50 for the shipping, and it's $10. That's not a bad deal at all. Be careful when you're transplanting jades. Uh, you wanna 
if you can have this slightly damp soil wet the soil before and let the jade dry out of course by the time it gets to you it should be already dried out and just put it in the container and leave it alone do not give it any more water until you start to see it uh, pushing new growth and then you can uh, go ahead and, and give it some uh, some water not bad all right guys still in Facebook marketplace and someone is selling persimmon persimmon trees yummy um two persimmon trees sweet autumn fruit bearing tree plant now uh two american persimmon shipped to you from our nursery in southern indianapolis persimmon trees are very hardy and easy to grow persimmons are sweet soft autumn fruit they're hardy from zones 4 to 11. Uh, should produce fruit in as little as three years. The American variety of persimmons are sweeter due to their short lifespan. Off of the tree, you won't find them in stores. That's key. There's several different uh, varieties of persimmon. Uh, some of them are not as sweet as others. Uh, based on this person's ad, these are the sweeter varieties. Uh, wildlife love persimmons, so make sure you cover them with a net or some type of uh, organza bags, things of that nature. Trees can trees are 18 to 24 inches tall now. Two trees will be required for pollination, but we will carefully wrap your bare root tree uh, with biodegradable papers and plastic to maintain moisture. All trees come with basic planting instructions. Please note you're getting a bare root tree in its natural dormant state. It will not be leafed out before blooming. Um, let's see, two trees for 36 bucks. How much is the shipping? Let's see, well, shipping is eight. So yeah, I mean, 40, 44 bucks, that's, that's not bad. Uh, I would try to see if you could find something locally uh, that someone has that you could potentially um, buy from them that is fruiting now. Uh, three years is a long while to wait. All right, guys, still in uh, off. I mean, excuse me, Facebook Marketplace, and someone is letting selling some uh, dragoon trees or dragon trees. Uh, they look to be about twenty inches. Let me go to the beginning and click on them. So zoom in. They look good. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, the tallest one appears to be about 20 inches. Nice little vibe to add to a house. Although I don't know how these do inside. Uh Oh, they say it's a house plant. Uh, fifteen dollars, and let me know if you want more than one, so we can bundle shipping. They're fifteen dollars each, and they ship for three dollars and fifty cents. All right, let's see if we can find something else. All right, guys. Um, uh, someone has some uh blueberry bushes. These are the Windsor variety, and they appear. They say they are organic. Uh, there's only one picture, 49 bucks, uh, beautiful bushes ready to bear fruit again this year. We recommend three trees, two varieties for the best backyard yield. I would probably agree with that. Uh, if you have maybe if you have like four people in your house, maybe you want to double this six trees, two different varieties. Uh, if you guys do a lot of smoothies and stuff like that. Well, it ships for $12. I mean, that's not bad if you're going to get a, a bush that's going to fruit this season. Um, yeah, not bad. Let's click on her profile profile, and see if she has anything else. All right. She has the Bordeaux fig tree, which some consider to be the finest fig. I have this tree, but I have not uh, gotten fruit from it yet. Uh, they're just coming out of dormancy, ready to be planted, and just in a blink of eye, you'll start eating the sweetest, tastiest figs. 
Uh, these twelve dollars shipped and fifty for the tree. Um, they are hard to come by sometimes. Oh, she has ten persimmon trees for five hundred dollars. I mean, if you're gonna pay, if you're gonna play, you might as well pay. Five varieties, you pick your combo. Oh, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. Ships for twenty dollars. So you drop five hundred, you get ten trees. And you pay $20 shipping. That's not bad. Here's the coda fig. I got some cuttings of a coda last year. And I tried to root it, but was unsuccessful. Got some cuttings from California. I thought they were going to root, but they did not root. Um, it has, oh yeah, on a coda. Suddenly, she's selling those for $45 each. And they ship for 12. Uh, let's see. Sugar Apple. Never had this before. Uh, so I don't know if this is a good price or not. Uh, $100. They're in stock. Uh, these trees are three year old, ready to fruit for you this year. And they ship bare root. And they ship for $20. Uh, I need to look that up to see if they grow in Tucson. Very interesting thing. Wonder how they taste. Uh, let's see. They have hood pears. Um, zoom in. Looks like those leaves have, I don't know, just depending on what time of year it is. But I was going to say it looks like they have a little, little fungus on them, but a little fungus never hurt nobody. Um, let's see, great pear tree for the south. It produces all the way down to zone 10. You will need two varieties of pears. Uh, we recommend three trees total for best backyard yields while Florida sand, barlet, and pineapple. Oh, we offer. I thought that was a street. Um, I don't know. I'm not familiar with any of those varieties of pears. Uh, sixty-five dollars and ship for twenty. It's not a bad deal if it's gonna fruit this year. My book. All right. I accidentally ended the video. Um, but uh, I just wanted to show you everything this lady was offering. Uh, she has the barlet pear trees. Those are sixty. Ship for twenty. Uh, she has a red sugar apple. One hundred. They ship for twenty. Uh, sour sop, good for people that have diabetes. $75, they're in stock. They ship for uh, $20. Um, uh, t -t 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 -t. It's also going to be bare rooted. It's bare rooted and it's gafted, so you're probably definitely going to get fruit this year. Uh, Loquat, yummy. This is really what got me into garden. A lot of people think it's bonsai. It's actually this right here, Loquat. I was trying to grow a little quats out here in Arizona and uh, got me into gardening. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. These are 35 and they're shipped for eight. Let's see. Loquat. Yoruba. Da, 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 da. Loquat. Loquat has been. They don't say if these are, sh if these are fruit this year. Uh, probably a little late. I think if you're going to get loquats this year. Your trees would have, uh, you, you should have the developments of, uh, of uh, loquat uh, bulbs right now. Uh, these are also loquats. This is another name, Japanese plums. Uh, 60 ship for 20. This is another variety of loquat. This is the Chinese sugar plum. And they go for 75, ship for 20. Another variety of loquat goes for $50, ship for eight. Mango trees, they go for $75. And they are shipped for 20. And they offer the gafted, I mean, excuse me, grafted Jamaican apple mango, Hayden, or honey. Ships bare root. Italian figs, always good to have that. Uh, red pineapple pear guava trees, 
Those go for $80. They're shipping them for $20. Yummy. Oh, this, this goes on and on. It goes on and on. Um, I won't go through, click on each one of them, but uh, they have red custard apples, cotton candy, cherry tree. Um, let me click on that because I've been looking for cotton candy grapes. Get after trees, blah, blah, blah. The bears. I have to come back to that. Uh, but anyway, these go for $100 and they ship for $20. Uh, have strawberry guava, yellow chocolate cacao trees for a hundred, and Brazilian cacao chocolate trees. I mean, that's that's she has everything. This is a winner winner chicken dinner. But that's it. I will end the video off there. Uh, if you want to reach out to this lady, she's on Facebook Marketplace, and that's her name. Uh, but without further ado. It's the Black Bonsai Guy. I'm out.